Gee, where is everybody? I don't know, Daddy-O. It's been slow for a week. Is everyone out of town? Yeah, even Zombie Trucker is missing my new recipe for coffee milkshakes. Hey, taste this. Goop, 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 goop. Ah, this is dynamite, Daddy-O. We gotta get this to the people. Hey, why don't we convert your sarcophagus to a food truck and make our business mobile? Slow down, Jack. Convert my hot rod. No way, Jackson. It'll be a snap. And then we can actually pay this month's rent at the shop, right? Hmm. This has got to be temporary. A publicity pod piper junket might lure him back to the coffee shop. And I could change it back. All right. I can dig it. Okay, Butterball. We can convert the pyramid to a service bay. Yeah. I was wondering about that pyramid. Where'd you get that idea anyway? Funny you should ask, Butterball. It's an homage to the first multi-genius in the world from ancient Egypt, Imhotep. Really? Yes, Imhotep. The high priest of Heliopolis was the father of medicine and an African multi-genius. Africans of ancient Egypt built one of the greatest civilizations of all time. One of the most talented was the African Imhotep. Hotep means peace, right? Correct, Butterball. Imhotep means he comes in peace. Imhotep was the son of an architect and lived in ancient Egypt in 2655 BC. Imhotep was the first in medicine, architecture, engineering, philosophy, poetry, religion, and astronomy. Through his works and writings, He's exposed the world to modern medicine. He discovered the circulation of blood 4,000 years before it was discovered in Europe. Imhotep diagnosed and treated more than 200 diseases, including disorders of the eyes, bladder, abdomen, and skin. Wow, doctor was in the house. Bingo, the Greeks worshiped him as the father of medicine and the god of healing. Many lay claim to Imhotep's achievements but the Greeks dubbed Hippocrates the father of medicine. Hippocrates, who studied in Egyptian universities, declared he was the child of Imhotep, who lived 2,500 years before him. Hippocrates, I've heard of him. Indeed, doctors should actually be taking the Imhotep oath, not the Hippocratic oath, to practice medicine. Hey, right! Imhotep also designed the very first pyramid, the Pyramid Saqqara which was the first building in the world constructed of stone and was the tallest buildings of the ancient world. That's where the pyramid comes in. Imhotep was also the chief priest, poet, and a philosopher. He was known for the phrase, eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow we shall die. Imhotep was an African genius, one of the most outstanding individuals of the ancient world. Thanks for the background story, Daddy-O. That was fascinating. Cool. Hey, let's get customizing, Fred. Check. <coughs> hey, looks pretty good, Daddy-O. Yeah, not bad. Hey, let me hip you to my coffee milkshake recipe. Cool. A cup of coffee, two scoops of vanilla ice cream, whipped cream, and a tablespoon of chocolate syrup drizzled across the top. It's a winner! Hey, there's our first customer. Uh, cup of java, Daddy-O. Here, try this CD. Uh, thanks. <laughs> wow, this is great. Step right up. Enjoy. Eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow we shall die. Crazy, man.